Has it ever happened to you that you always feel, why is it happening to me only? Why not to others? Or what's my fault? Well, this kind of questions always comes up when you are a fresher and you're trying for the first time to get a job. Let me know in the comment section if this happens to you. We all feel that it's not happening. We're not getting the job, whatever we desire or demand. And uh, the industry is not welcoming me. They're not even giving me interview uh, opportunities. They're not even uh, you know, giving me any opportunities. All the jobs has experience. So where should I apply? So these are the problems which happens when you are a freshman, you're trying to apply for a job. And that is why I'm making this video. Why am I not getting a job as a fresher from the industry? So I'll try to answer all this in point-wise manner. But the first point is very important, okay? And that is by not knowing the opportunities, you're doing a crime to yourself. And that means, let me give you an example. Job was posted by Colgate. So it's an internship and it is for freshers, okay? Colgate Palmolive posted a job internship where freshers can apply. It was posted on by Technica at around nine o'clock in the morning. And by the time it was afternoon, Colgate informed us that they're closing the internships opportunities because they got, you know, 10,000 applications. Now, what really happened? We are a network, right? And that means as soon as the job opening is posted on Biotechnica, it is informed to everybody, right? Instantly, within seconds, it is posted on all our social media handles. And if you miss out, if you come back after like 24 hours or 48 hours, you know, for example, this Colgate Pamalev job internship, or 1,000 applications reached him approximately every five minutes. And that brings me to the question, if you don't know the opportunities, if you, if you don't apply for the opportunities quickly, you will not, never get it, right? So yes, freshest opportunities exist, but you have to be aware of that. And for that, you have to be a part of Biotechnica's Telegram group and WhatsApp group, okay? If you can be in both, fair enough, so that you don't miss out. Because the moment there is a job opening in the industry, we will inform everybody through our WhatsApp group, through our Telegram group, and, you know, thousands of people will apply within seconds. And within five hours, the job is over. The applications are closed. Why do they close it? Because if th they keep accepting applications, they have to sift through, a, sift through the one lakh resumes, right? Which, which they don't want. So they'll close it. They'll close it at say 10,000 or 5,000. And then they'll start shortlisting from that itself. And that is where you miss out on opportunities. So it's not that the freshest opportunities are not there. You have to be alert and vigilant in Biotechnica's group, which is Telegram group as well as WhatsApp group. Now let's come back to the second point, And that is not having relevant experience. So you'll be like, sir, nobody's giving us a job. How would we gain experience? There's a difference between gaining experience and getting a job. Both are two different things. You can gain experience by working in temporary projects, volunteering, uh, doing internships, doing uh, attending workshops, doing certification. That's how you gain internships. Gain, gain experience. You, you don't gain experience by getting the job and then working there. No. To gain experience as a fresher, you have to do certifications, internships, workshops, and hands-on volunteering. All this comes together and that gets counted as your experience. Okay. So you, you no longer are a fresher. You are fresher with experience. Okay. That's the second point. Let's move on to the third point. Third point is insufficient skills or knowledge. So when we are applying for a job, say this particular job requires CRISPR skills or CRISPR theoretical knowledge or hands-on knowledge or um, analytical knowledge, but I don't have it. Or even if I have it, I have a limited knowledge of it. So what happens is when we apply, we don't get through. Another mistake people do is not highlighting your relevant skills in your CV. That is also very important. So have the relevant skill, customize your cover letter and CV according to the job, and then apply and make sure that the skill set which they are demanding is highlighted in your CV. That's very, very important. Have the skill and then highlight the skill. Okay, let's move on to the third point. The third point is ineffective job search strategies. Now, job search is just like studying. You have to be focused, you have to do it every day, and you have to have an Excel sheet, which all companies you applied, on what date and which date you have to follow. Okay, now, what really happens if we don't have this kind of an approach, if we don't have an effective job search uh, strategy, then we just wake up one uh, random Friday and we apply for jobs and wait for people to respond uh, respond to us the next Monday. It won't happen. You have to create an Excel sheet. Which companies you want to work for, where all the opportunities are coming, whether it is coming on LinkedIn, Biotechnica, Nokri, Monster, whichever job portal, keep looking on all of them. Hunt like a tiger and sit like a swan 
hunting for the fish. You have to be focused. You have to keep looking for a job and make sure that your CV is done in the right way. We have done a video uh, live session on how to design your CV and cover letter. Please watch that video. That will be very, very effective and efficient uh, to help you make your um, CV industry ready and you job ready. Many times you are job ready, but your CV is not industry ready and you get rejected. There are ways how HRs look at your CV. They no, no longer look at your CV the human way. They'll just put in a keyword into their resume tracking system and applicant tracking system and then it will throw out the relevant results. So even though you have that relevant skill, you will not get on the top five or top 10 unless you have highlighted it in your CV and you have the right keywords. That's very, very important. So you need to make your CV efficient. You need to make your jobs, job search efficient and you have to be systematic. You have to attempt the job hunt every day. And that's where I said, you have to be a part of Biotechnica's community, be a part of Biotechnica's WhatsApp group, Telegram group, or Biotechnica's YouTube group, and keep checking Biotechnica website. As soon as the fresher job comes, I'll tell you within four hours or five hours, those jobs get filled up. So you have to keep looking and be alert the moment it comes, leave everything else, jump in and answer, uh, apply for that job. Now, the fifth point for you, which is the last point is networking. Lack of networking leads to bigger disasters. For example, if I want to reach out to the CEO of a big company, I can do that because I have a network. I have built that network for 17 years. The same way you're getting started doesn't mean that you don't have a network. You have a network of your, friend, of your friends. You have a network of Biotechnica subscribers. You have a network of uh, all the people who are participating in the workshops and internships, which you are attending along with all of them in Biotechnica or anywhere else. And then you be active more on LinkedIn, help out others, react to what they are posting, comment um, or ask questions, reach out to people, help them. They will help you back and the ratio is 1 is to 100 and 1 is to 1000. Whenever you will need help, out of 100 people, one person will come back and help you. And whenever you will need a job, out of 1000 people, one person will come and give, give you that job. And I, I could be that. So you can be a part of my network by clicking on the link in the description. Uh, you can send me a connection request. You can be in touch with me. And you can, of course, uh, seek mentorship or any kind of advice by reaching out to me at shekharatbiotechnika.org. So these are the five quick pointers for all of you where I wanted to highlight that. See, it's not that you cannot get a job because you are a fresher. Instead, you have to follow a plan. You have to first create the plan, execute the plan, follow it religiously and keep doing it. Believe in yourself, believe in your talent, believe in your degree, believe in your skill set and keep doing, keep working hard. See, sometimes job hunt can take up to one year also, two years also. But if you're looking for a perfect job, a six figure or eight figure, figure salary job, you have to keep upskilling yourself. You have to keep you know, earning newer degrees. Uh, updating your knowledge, learning new skill set and do not think that it's not taking you anywhere because anything you learn today will be used, you know, 10, 15 years later. You don't even know that. Uh, I'll give you an example of Steve Jobs. So he learned calligraphy uh, when he was nothing and when he was designing my uh, the um, word, like you have Microsoft Word the same way they have a word uh, processor. So when he was designing the word processor, this calligraphy classes came into a picture there and he they designed all the fonts which we have today like monotype cursiva and stuff like that and that's how all the computers have so nice fonts so if he had not learned that in the calligraphy cl classes it would not have helped him as a ceo of apple so you don't know whatever you're trying to learn today will you know 10 years later will help you see i attended a uh, public speaking session like 15 years ago and it is helping me today i attended a session on networking 20 years ago it's helping me today. So whatever it is, please, please, please keep learning. Keep your, yourself updated and please be a part of Biotechnica's Telegram and WhatsApp group. And, uh, you know, I keep posting a lot of insights and, in, you know, industry oriented case studies there. Please uh, have a look on that. And the more you visit Biotechnica, in fact, you will be more knowledgeable. That's that's the bottom line here. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye bye.